we are on the thrift challenge for adventures and reselling Victoria. So we were told we can also go to garage sales. So we're gonna go and see what we can find. We are at garage sale number one. All right, so I actually missed coverage from this first yard sale, but look at this pennant. I picked one of these up. They sell up to $200. I picked it up for $1, and now we're going to head over to the next yard sale. Oh, ah. I'll put it over here by your car. Okay, thank you, dear. Ah, Come on, greeter of the yard sales. Oh, mommy's running and stuff. Oh, these are so cool. Oh, these are so cool. So this was like a little mini community yard sale. There were three of them in a row. I saw that Xbox 360 sitting there on the table. So what I'm doing is looking up Xbox 360 system just to get an idea of how much they sell for. And it looks like the average is probably around $60 to $100. I like to know what stuff sells for before I ask a price, so I have not asked her a price yet. She was showing us that she had the different clothes there. You can see here, there are quite a few Xbox 360 systems that have sold, so the sell-through rate was really good, which is something that I take into account. So I will pay a little more if it's an item that I feel like is going to sell fast. And you can see there, it does have the controller with it. Thank you. What? Hi. My name is Lisa. What's your name? Hi, Dalton. <laughs> that goes up front. Up front? Yeah. How much are the shirts? Two bucks. Okay. Come here, please. Is that a golf? Uh, that's a fishing shirt. Here's yeah. another one right here. Hold on. My oh yeah. Too many. I'm like, dude, these gotta go. Mine does too. What about just the regular ones? Two dollars. Okay. Look at that's fine. That brand. I don't it was know. Seventy dollars. Oh gosh. Brand new. How much do you want on the um, Xbox 360s? Twenty bucks. I'll throw on the three games with it. There are two of them yeah, though. Yeah, mine's over here with a couple games. Yours is over here. Okay. Yeah. Does it and it works okay? Absolutely. Those, the non-designer uh, ones are five bucks. Is that a GoPro? It is. Don't mess with it. I, know what I you have want. a GoPro on right now. Isn't that gorgeous? That no shirt? It is. Did you see the lines? That's yeah, gorgeous shirts. Shirt. Yeah, that's why I liked it. Did you buy the hats? I bought these from them next oh, door. I wanted to buy the Cheeto hat. Yeah, the cheese it kids. Yeah. Teenage boys. Isn't that pretty? It's a queen. Five bucks. Isn't it beautiful? My name's Betty. He's like the greeter. You're very friendly. He is very friendly. How much is the Dolphin? Forty. How old is Dolphin? I wish I had my own money. Can you tell me how old you are? It's two hundred dollars, and it's only forty dollars for the GoPro. My kids just don't need to spend me. How old I am? You, how old are you? Why don't you tell her how old you are? What about the sweatshirts? Five bucks. Okay. Mommy likes that Gators one. Dalton Dean. What's that? What's that? What's that? Eeny, meeny, miny. Which are the games with it? Three games. Oh, in the thing? Yep. Okay. I guess we'll get that. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Why? Eeny, meeny, miny. And this one is not yours, right? It's his. That one's his, okay. All right. I think I'll get yours. Okay. I didn't ask him. How much do you want for your Xbox 360? 20. 
Are they both? 20. That one's 120. Oh, Do you think you need a book? Is that what size is this one? Is that one a 122? What's the gig? Yours is one. I don't see it on there. I don't either. Now, are you doing it with all the games too? Yeah. Okay. All right. I guess we'll get them both. So is that everything? Oh, is she getting them? Yeah, I'm gonna get both. She's getting both. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. Hold on. How about a jaguar like this? Oh. Two, four, six, eight. Eight and so I owe you twenty-eight and him twenty, right? Yeah. We'll let you blow the bubbles. Let's throw the hats <laughs> in. Okay, so there's 20 for you. Thank you. Mommy doesn't have 28 for her. Mommy will have to give her 53. Does that make sense? Then she'll owe us 25. Alright, thank you. And the kid, like I said, they were just using this last Saturday. So. Okay, I'll figure. It probably says when you turn on. Right. So all of my intros were lost at the Goodwills. I don't know why. We went, we did go to two Goodwills and you will see footage from both and an estate sale as well as those garage sales you just saw. So this is a Disney Castaway Club and you see it sells for $14.99. I paid $3. I think it'll sell pretty fast. So I definitely think that was a good pickup. I thought about getting these hand towels. They were Ritz brand though and I was not familiar with that. So I do look at the tags because I do know some name brands that sell very well, but that one I was not familiar with. So we decided to leave those there. And then here on the shirt rack, this really caught my eye, but it actually was not even branded. I probably should have still picked it up because it was really loud and loud sells. And then coming up next here, if you do not know this brand, learn it they sell well they sell fast and they hold value so this one was $2.99 it is a simply southern shirt it is not faded at all you can see a comp here of one similar that sold for $20 all of the simply southern I've got have sold within a week and now we are going to check out their scarf racks their scarfs were $2.99 and I'm looking for brands. So if you look here, this one did say Echo on the bottom and it had the cheetah print. I believe I got that one. I'm not sure. I am going to do a small haul at the end of this video though to show you everything that I picked up this day because there's quite a bit of missing footage. Not sure what really happened there. Now that starfish one, if it had only been a dollar, I probably would have picked that up. But at $2.99, I'm looking for brands or very very vibrant patterns now i did get this flamingo one for renee from flipping flamingos i picked that up and brought that to her at the reseller event now here this one is wool and i could tell it was wool and you can see here it says the scotch house london again guys stuff in other countries i feel like it sells better here is a sold comp of one that is similar that sold for 25 so for a three dollar pickup that one was definitely worth it. And Dalton did not want to hold the scarf. I figured I would leave his lovely face there. He was telling me to put it in the buggy. Now, this one, it, it's like a fake cashmere, I think. It's called Cash My Yarn by Berkshire. So you're going to see me look it up here. I'm not overly familiar. And again, $3 for a scarf is... To me paying up because I typically can get them for a dollar. So I am going to look up this brand because I did have a signal in this Goodwill which was nice. And see if I can find any scarves by them. And you will see here as far as what I found there are quite a few that are lower. So there are some listed at $6, a couple at 12 So I decided to leave that one on the shelf. Don't be scared to walk away unless you feel like it really will sell. Like if that had been like an amazing pattern or bright colors, I might have kind of overridden those comps on eBay and still got it. And these were all pretty plain and non-branded. Now we're in another Goodwill. I don't know what happened to my GoPro video footage. So we're going to be all over the place today. These plates were really bright. They caught my eye. They were on the end cap. And what I am doing is using my phone. I'm lifting it up to take a photo for Google Lens. And you can see Google Lens found this pattern really, really fast. So once I found the name of the pattern, now I have a name that I can go to eBay and put that name and pattern in and look it up. And 
This one here was Nancy Green was the name of the artist of the plate. And you can see there are some listed and what we want to look is what they sold for. So she has quite a few sold and here's that exact pattern selling for $27 for one plate. These two plates were $2.99. So three bucks into 50 to 60 is not a bad deal. And this little vase I really liked, but unfortunately it didn't have a price. And at Goodwill, it can be a little difficult to get prices on things. And I didn't find it overly impressive. Now the hard thing at this Goodwill, they had no carts. They had no carts. So you can see I got some cool Ray Dunn dishes there. I got some bowls. And again, I will show you a complete haul at the end of this video since there's so much missing footage. Now, look at my giant handful I was trying to carry around. And now we're going to look at the blankets. This is really thick, really soft. And speaking of really thick and really soft, if you see something you like in this video, you can email me cat at the nurseflipper.com and ask me for a price. So this was Hearth, Hearth and Hand from Magnolia Farms. And that one should be about a $15 to $18 profit. Now we're at an estate sale. We have moved. And that was a really cool doily like carrying tray. It was formed to like a casserole dish type um, shape. Not really sure what to call that. This is in the basement of this estate sale. This estate sale was massive and everything was 20% off. So Dalton and I stopped there. This was actually our last stop of the day, though you will see some footage back of Goodwill because my footage is all mixed up today. So really amazing soapstone trinket box there. Also a vintage 4-H cap. And again, everything was 50% off. So some really, really cool stuff. And what I did since we were down in the basement and I had to go upstairs was I moved some things out of this flat here and I stacked you can see my my giant stack of stuff and again I will show you it all at the end and that way it was easier for me to move upstairs so here they have a salt and pepper collection there is quite a few these cute little reindeers were marked Japan and then these are so cute these uh birds sit on a branch and they're little salt and pepper shakers so I got those as well I absolutely love these poodles and I feel like these poodles definitely would have sold but the nose was broke off of the black one unfortunately so I did decide to leave those there. The white one might have sold as a single but I I just decided to leave them and then here you can see some really really nice wood salt and pepper shakers. These were four dollars a set priced regularly so I actually got them for two dollars a set there was a really cute bowling ball and bowling pin and these i can't remember what country they are i will show you guys in the hall though for sure at the end and some hand painted ones so i definitely grabbed quite a few of the wooden salt and pepper shaker sets because they were really really cute and at two dollars a set salt and peppers for me normally sell for about 15 to 20 so paying two dollars i am okay with and then here, this is a vintage Gators golf hat. It was priced six, so it'll be three. I'm hoping to get about 20 to 25 for that. Still more rooms in the basement, guys. Still more rooms. And look at what we see here. You guys know I love tile trivets. So it was priced at three, which would be $1.50 with the discount. And they sell for about 15 to 25 for me. So I did pick both of these up. They were both marked Japan. And I think that those will sell very well. I, I do very, very well with tile trivets. All right. Now we are looking on the table. They have some vintage linens here. These are some really cute little applique towels. But I did decide to leave those there. And the placemats, I did decide to get, though. These are really cute Christmas ones. And if you guys don't know, Christmas sells you around. Somebody told me recently that the oval vintage placemats are kind of coming back into style. So I picked those up. I am looking through the Christmas stockings. Don't overlook Christmas just because it's March, guys. It will sell you around. 
And there were a lot of cool stockings, but most of them had names. So I typically will not pick them up if they have names written on them. That just makes them a lot harder to sell, especially if it's handwritten. If it's embroidered or crocheted, I might, I might pick up one that was personalized. So now you can see my giant pile. All right, now we are back on the main floor of the estate sale. And I see all of these scarves and linens, tons and tons of different stuff, but nothing overly interesting in the scarf box. However, I saw this gorgeous Nicaragua scarf. This was actually my thrift battle item that went in. I did not win, but that did sell for $7 to Susan S. So Susan S., thank you for that purchase. Absolutely amazing hanky there. And... Now we're back at Goodwill. I, do, I don't know what happened. So I got the scarf for Renee. And then I saw this really cool Urban Pipeline Flamingo shirt that I thought I would pick up for Joe from Flippin' Flamingos. They were there at the Thrift Challenge. So I brought these back to the house and gave them to them. I like to pick stuff up when it makes me think of people. All right, hats, guys, hats. This Hooters hat and their hats were $2.99. It does still have the tag. It is from 2017. You can see a similar sold comp here for $14. I'm hoping to get about $15 and make about a $10 profit on that. And, and this one really caught my eye. Again, once you know quality, it, you get a feel for it. This one is a Kangol hat. It is a kid's hat. It was new with the tag. And I could just tell that it was of better quality. Now, I didn't comp it there, but look at these comps, $30 to $40 for that hat, and I only paid $2.99. So that Kangol hat was definitely a really, really good pickup. And sorry about the beeps. I forgot to turn my phone on Do Not Disturb, so my phone is going off. So sorry if I'm driving you crazy. All right, this turtle was like a giant shell turtle. I really wanted it. It was like $12.99. I don't know how much a giant shell turtle would sell for. I sell little shell turtles for about 15 to 20, but I did not feel like dealing with the giant turtle. And now we're back at the estate sale. It's like a time warp and you never know where you're going to be, right? Never know where you're going to be. Look at all of these amazing embroidered napkins and hankies. Dalton is wanting to run, go check something else out. I'm not sure what. And then here in the closet, they had a ton of napkins. Most of them were plain, which I tend to stay away from plain. But the blue flower one with the applique, and it actually had different colors, was really, really nice. And I do dig through these boxes, guys, because you never know what you're going to find down there on the bottom. Unfortunately, in this one, I did not find any more that were not plain. And then here we are in one of the bedrooms. So there are some purses. That was a Kenneth Cole reaction. Not sure if that would do good. This amazing needlepoint purse was the other item I picked out for the thrift challenge. It had a Bakelite handle. Amazing, amazing purse. But it was not chosen to go in the thrift battle. So that purse went to the winner of the thrift battle. I do not have that. So if you're interested, I cannot sell that. But... This amazing bamboo handle purse, which is actually really, really nice inside. I can't remember where it said it was made, but that was a really pretty embroidered purse, and I do have that. All right, you got to check everything. Now, I don't know if I should have got these. These are Martex, and they were really, really pretty vintage twin bedspreads. Now, they had them priced at $50 for the two, so they would have been $25 because they were on sale. And Martex is a great brand to look up if you are outsourcing, but they had some stains, so I did decide to leave them there. Now, in here, there was a quilt, but I think it was one that was manufactured. I don't think it was handmade. This pillow was, but it did have some staining, so I did decide to leave that there. And this is where my footage is about to run out. So we're gonna see the hall here shortly. You're gonna see one other room, and then we are gonna go into the hall so you can see everything I got, which is what you've seen so far and a lot more. Now here, I really love this little owl, 
and it was it was priced at like six though and i really didn't want to pay three dollars for that so i did leave that there and the little bells same thing this parrot was really really pretty i did like that but i think they had it priced at like 15 yep 15 dollars, which was a little higher than i wanted to pay so and it has that broke feather so definitely more than i wanted to pay all right guys let's look at my haul now all right so here are the shirts i got at at that yard sale you saw these are hook and tackle xl and i got two of those i got this daniel cremo this one will sell for about 15 maybe 20 dollars and then i really like the lining of this one this one is english laundry and that is the one where I also got this Xbox 360 and controller. This is the CBS Sports uh, banner that I showed you guys that I got for a dollar that should sell for about 200. And with that, I also got these hats. I got this Cheese It Racing one, this really cool PGA Golf Tour visor, Sunrise Jack's Beach. This one's pretty cool, the vintage mesh back. And then I got this Chevrolet Racing one. These were all a dollar each. There's another Chevrolet Racing. And then I got this Xbox with the Quick Connect there. And all of these games here for 20 bucks. So I think it'll sell for 80 to 100 and a pretty good profit. And let's see what's in my trunk. I got this really cool vintage Barbie camper. I was actually disappointed by the comps. It'll only sell for about 35 or so but it's really, really cool. Uh, it was marked 25, but it was half off. So I got it for 1250 and it does have like the little sleeping bag and bed and kitchen and stuff in there. Here is the doily tray. So that was marked four. I paid two. This hat was one of the best finds, the Kangol. It was 299 again, should sell for 30 to 40, brand new with the tags. And then this is my tray from the estate. So this is a really thick, heavy stocking. I don't know if it has a brand here. Yeah, it's Martha Stewart. So that should sell pretty well. And then I got these two vintage needle point with the starfish and the pelican. I got this vintage 4-H hat. This is a 1955 Florida State book. And I got this for our cousins for Christmas. And then I got a Christmas table runner. Again, all this was half off. There's another Christmas table runner. So those were two each. The Florida Gators hat. I did get this cute little Merry Christmas stocking. Oh, I did not notice that was embroidered DE. And then the placemats. I got this salt and pepper shaker here. So I paid $2.50 for that one. It is China Temple in the Bahamas. And then I got this really big Ghost Seminoles banner. Again, I'm going to give this to our cousins for Christmas. They are big Seminoles fans. This little poodle is really cute. It's missing an eye. It's missing an eye. But that is made out of like seed pods. And then these napkins are really nice. It's a tablecloth and matching napkins. Uh, it says Golden Oak. And I paid five for them. I paid three for this really nice soapstone trinket box. I like that a lot. I might do that in my live auction tonight. And then I got this Kansas Sunflower State. These little wood salt and peppers are really cute. And I think this carved flower shell is really nice as well. I might put that in my auction tonight as well. And then here are the little deers. They are cute. This is really nice. This is a Japan toothpick holder. It is marked Japan there with the teddy bear. And then the birds go on the branch. Everything is dripping salt and pepper. And then there are these really cool whale salt and pepper from Turks and the Grand Caicos. Let's see what else is in here. Some more napkins. You guys know I love the napkins. 10 for $2. So these were actually 10 for a dollar. And this I got at Goodwill. I actually looked up this artist. And I, I don't remember the name now. I had to use Google Lens. But it should sell for about 20 to 30 And then I got these two scarves for a dollar each. Um, this one says West Germany. 
this one is Royal Knight. These Leanne Random Chick Picker gave to me, which are really awesome. They are Ken Schuler. She let me pick which two I liked, and those are really awesome. So, Leanne, thank you so much. There is our Disney Castaway Club bag. Here, I might, I might do this in the auction tonight, too. This really pretty bamboo handle purse. And then this is a Starbucks mug. This one, I paid... $1.99 and it should sell for about $20 to $25. Here is the Simply Southern shirt that I got. I actually love this brand myself. So really pretty with the sunflowers. And then this is a really big red shawl. I thought it was a throw blanket, but it's actually a shawl. And this one is Aldo Bruzicelli. And this one was made in Italy. And then this is the scarf that I showed you guys that I got. This one is the one from the Scotch House. This one should go for about 25 This towel I got for $3. And I believe this towel will sell for over $100 to $150. I will show you the brand. It is seven C's and this brand sells high. I have not found this pattern. I might even price it at $200. And then these doilies are very, very pretty. And then the napkins. Here's another vintage towel. The Hooters hat. I also got, I love Lily Bloom. This is a Lily Bloom holiday purse. I paid $2.99. And then I did, I didn't comp these. These were um, $2 or $3. These are ice cream or jello uh, Tupperware molds. And there are four of them. And then this is that heart and earth um, blanket you saw. These are the two tile trivets. Retout Conference Center. And then these are really cool starfish bowls. The brand on these is Merit, and I was able to find some of them. I paid three. These should go for about 15 to 20. And then last is those really colorful plates. So definitely a really, really good haul and some really good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed the duck blanket and the CBS banner were the two highest. They should both sell for well over $150 and I paid $3 and a dollar. So between those two, $4 into $350, not bad. And I, I love that. I love the Barbie, even though it doesn't sell for much, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you Friday with a high dollar what sold video. And I hope you guys enjoyed my live sale with Yvonne that we just finished. I hope you're having a good week. Happy hump day. I will see you on Friday.